So let's get started with one of the two key ingredients of mofongo, which is chicharron. Now normally you would use a full slab of pork belly. Uh, none of the stores near me had that. So I had to go with what looks more like thick cut bacon. It was probably better suited for Korean samgyeopsal, but it has its skin on. So it should do just fine in this application. So into a large Dutch oven, I'm going to put the pork belly. And I've got about a kilo of pork belly here. We're gonna season it thoroughly with salt. and add in a few cloves of peeled garlic and some sprigs of thyme. And we're gonna cover that up with some water. I could use way less water for this, but if you're using a full slab, you should definitely use at least a liter and a half of water, just so the meat has time to tenderize a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil and let it reduce uncovered until all the water evaporates. While that's going, we can go ahead and make a beef broth which we're gonna to use to make sure our mofongo doesn't get too dry. Now you can totally use store-bought broth, but I'm gonna take the opportunity to make some soup. So into a large pot, I'm gonna throw a little bit of oil. And we need some beef, so I am using oxtail. I'm just gonna throw that into the bottom over medium heat and let it brown. Now a good indication that the meat is brown is that it releases from the bottom of the pot. Otherwise, in a stainless pot like this, uh, it will stick. We're gonna add in a sliced up onion. And uh, on that note, does anybody know what this white stuff is? It's so strange. Onion milk, that's what I'll call it. Throw those guys into the pot, and uh, actually it probably makes more sense to remove the beef so those onions can get their sweat on. Next up, we're gonna add in a few cloves of sliced garlic. and a few sprigs of thyme. And we can throw our beef back in. Now cover everything up with a box of beef broth. And we're gonna throw in some cilantro. You can tell it apart from parsley because it has these little tiny serrations on the ends of the leaves. I'm gonna add in a little bit of water just to uh, increase the amount of liquid that's in here. I'll season with salt. And once it starts bubbling, we will skim the top and let it boil until that beef becomes tender. Now back to the pork belly. Uh, all the water has evaporated and if your fat is rendered out, uh, you should be able to fry the pork belly in that fat. Uh, mine was looking a little dry, so I added a little bit of oil, which is totally fine. So continue to fry all that pork belly until gets nice and crispy and after a while you should end up with some really nice crispy looking pork like this. Hopefully yours will be in a bigger more cohesive piece if you used a slab but this is totally fine I mean we're gonna be mashing it anyway so don't even worry. Next it's time to fry some green plantains so chop off the ends slice down the length and you can peel off that skin. It actually works a lot easier if you put multiple cuts down the length Chop those into one centimeter rounds. Get some oil going in a pan. And we're gonna fry these until they're golden on both sides. Once they're done, you can remove them off to a paper towel so the excess oil strains off. All right, now that we got our ingredients together, we can assemble our mofongo. And here's what that chicharron ended up looking like. I've got some crispy, burny looking pieces, but uh, those will be a little snack for the chef. Totally tasty. And here are our plantains, looking nice and golden. And don't mind if I do. So we wanna mash all our ingredients together. Now, typically you would use something called a pilon, uh, which is just a wooden mortar pestle that is taller than it is round. This keeps the ingredients inside the bowl, which is pretty important when you're mashing a bunch of stuff together. Uh, but this regular generic mortar and pestle will work just fine with a little extra work. We're gonna get started with some smashed garlic in the bowl. And we'll use some salt as a seasoning as well as an abrasive. It'll help us mortar this stuff a little better. Uh, once the garlic is sufficiently smashed up, uh, we're gonna throw in some chicharron and just break that down a little bit before throwing in some platanos. Q. 
keep on mashing in that manner uh, until kind of a paste or gritty kind of mash uh, starts to form. And you can add more pork and more plantain alternately until you get the ratio that you want. If it's looking a little dry, go ahead and add in a little bit of that soup from before. Just a little bit. You don't want it to be soggy, just a little bit moist. So this took way longer than I expected, but it turned out excellent. It's garlicky, it's got some of that amazing crispy pork flavor to it, and the plantains just bind everything together, and it's, it's so good. Uh, but there's a few corners that you can cut uh, to make it take a lot less time. Number one being the soup. Uh, you can totally just use broth, and I recommend it. Just heat up some beef broth, pour it in, it'll taste just the same, I'm sure. Uh, it's not a dominant flavor by any means. And number two is the chicharron, if you can get it in a store. If you live in a Dominican neighborhood um, and can pick up some chicharron. Alternatively, you could, uh, you could also just try deep frying the pork belly and see how that turns out. I'm not sure all the fat will render out and it may not be as tender, but the flavor will be there, which is the most important thing in this because you're mashing it all up in the end. Overall, it's still gonna take a little bit of time. And I think this is one of those dishes that much like my eggplant parm recipe, uh, you only really make uh, for someone you really care about. You know, I don't break out the eggplant parm lightly. Let's just put it that way. And same thing with this. It takes a whole day, but it makes a big impact. So choose wisely. So I've got a link to the full written recipe in the description below. And if you like that, maybe you like this video where I show you how to make Costa Rican beef soup. So check that out. See you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.